and vegetable we should not over cook we are there are some method like sauteing sweetening and etc am i right then we have learned the different diseases what is meant by the diseases diseases is nothing but a unhealthy person the then we have learned two types of diseases that is communicable and non communicable diseases we have discussed them in a detail and also we have learned how to prevent the uh, communicable diseases now in that also we have to learn about the vaccination now what is the vaccination see to prevent what is the first communicable diseases communicable diseases are the diseases which are spread from one person to another the diseases which are spread from one person to another that diseases are called as a communicable diseases to prevent from that we have uh, to prevent from the diseases we have to take care of our health so in a small age the vaccinations are given now what is meant by the vaccination can you tell me vaccination is nothing but a uh, to prevent it from the communicable diseases they are meant from the microorganism they are made from the microorganism now micro means what very small uh, germs very small germs they are made from the microorganism which are dead the, the vaccinations are made from the microorganism which are very uh, very small or a uh, dead now there are the different vaccination such as see polio dpt mmr now this vaccinations are given by orally means in the directly in the mouth or by injection that is ejected see they are given by orally means it is when you were small the so vaccinations were given in your mouth am i right so they are given as orally and second is by injection so the vaccinations are given the vaccinations are given to fight against the diseases to increase your immunity power now there are the different types of uh, vaccination that is polio vaccination dvt diphtheria fetus and tetanus mmr means for the measles mumps and rubella vaccination these are the different types of vaccination then the next point to prevent it from the vaccine uh, from the communicable diseases only the injection or by the polio uh, or by the uh, taking the medicine is not a or uh, it is not enough it is and it is not a good for our health so hygiene is very important what is meant by the hygiene hygiene means a good habit that ensure the cleanliness and good health means your environment your total environment you have to take of your health uh, then you have to keep your environment clean you have to maintain your hygiene is nothing but a good habit that ensure the cleanliness and good health means to maintain our uh, body or to keep away from the dirt we have to maintain the cleanliness cleanliness is very important there are some steps there are some methods to keep a uh, uh, for a good health there are some method we should wash our hand to our, whenever you will uh, whenever you will have a meal before and after we should brush up it we should brush our teeth twice a day then we should take a bath regularly um, then um, we should we should cut our nails we should cut our nails kitchen and floors of the top um, of the floor tiles should be washed properly then there are some methods we should keep the ventilation for our uh, at our home we should eat proper diet the and the whatever the vegetable you might be bringing from the uh, market it should be washed properly the food should not be overcooked uh, then we should keep our surrounding clean there are these are some methods to uh, meant, uh, to keep your hygiene or to keep the cleanliness around your surrounding then along this along this we should also do exercise regularly we should do exercise regularly why we should do exercise regularly it it keeps it improves our blood circulation it maintains our digestive system properly it means it helps us to work the digestive system properly it improves our blood circulation uh, and it when we exercise more oxygen is taken in our uh, more oxygen is supplied to the brain in in the exercise we should we should 
also to the outer beings in the exercise the indoor many students or many students are playing the indoor game am i right mostly the students are busy with the mobiles and computers am i right they are busy with the video games am i right but that is wrong it affects your eyes so to you have to play and outdoor games you have to play outdoor outdoor games why you have to play the outdoor games it uh, uh, the muscles which ever your muscles are being stirred the it comes out means whatever your blood circulation it makes your blood circulation very fast so you have to play the outdoor games such as swimming you have to do the yoga you have to do the cycling you have to play on the ground it is good uh, it makes you healthy then you should take an adequate rest the rest is very important you have to take the adequate rest approximately 8 hours you have to sleep see now nice the students are watching tv they are watching tv for a long time longer time to have the adequate rest you have to sleep 8 hours you have to sleep 8 hours then the last point is posture now what is the posture see whenever you are sitting what whenever you are sitting you are not sitting properly your posture is totally a bend means posture is a position see it is a position in which we hold our body when we sit stand and move when we sit stand or move means whenever you stand or whenever you sit if your posture should be erect you should not hold your uh, see you, it, it may harm your backbone so you have to sit properly okay so these are some points what I, what we have discussed in today's lecture that vaccination vaccination helps us to prevent from the communicable diseases hygiene hygiene is very important to, uh, to prevent it from the communicable diseases then along with the hygiene you should do exercise regularly try to play outdoor game then you should have the adequate rest approximately 8 hours and posture should be maintained properly. His work is that you have to complete